I was mentioning songs earlier on, and I said that I hadn't, ri- hadn't written any songs by the time, by 1991 or two. I certainly made up for it since then. I took my courage in both hands and just started writing them. I think when, when Brendan did, did, did change that song of mine, the, that poem of mine, Fire and Snow and Carnival Valley into Winter Fire and Snow, I think it was that just a question of courage and just doing it. So I did it. I've written quite a number of songs since then. But this is called Song for the Magic Mountain. And it is indeed all true, all of it. People say, oh, it's all true. It is all true. This is all true. And it's um, funny and, again, not funny. And the, the, really the most important line in this poem is, we know whoever stayed we are. There's truth in all tomfoolery, which brings us back to King Lear and Tom of Bedlam and Mad Tom's song. Just wonderful, wonderful poem, Mad Tom's song. Um, the gypsies snap and Pedro are none of Tom's comrades. The cult punk I scorn, the cult first sworn, the roaring boys' bravados. The great, great, great song, a wonderful song. And this is, um, this is kind of the same kind of version of it. It's the same, same kind of rhythm, I think, as well. Same, same kind of outlook. Song for the Magic Mountain. And again, it's, it's, it refers to another book of Thomas Mann, uh, the, the Magic Mountain. Now, the significance of that in this is that Elaine and I were travelling down through Morocco many years ago in an old 4L car. We used to do it every year, drive down from Dublin down to the Atlas Mountains and back, beyond the Atlas Mountains and back. And we were driving down through the reef well, this, this time and the, um, the car broke down very badly. It was not going to go any further. So we were stuck up on top of the mountain of the reef. And Elaine hitched down to, to the nearest town to get, to get help. And I was, um, I was, I had to sit on the car because if I didn't sit in the car, when I came back, it would be gone. It would disappear. So I was sitting on top of the car and I was reading the Magic Mountain, as it happens there. I was sitting on the top of the, top of the car in the, in the reef reading the Magic Mountain. So this, this is also behind this poem. In Istanbul, I bought a shirt and shoes from Cesarini, set up shop as Hans Kastorp with partner Setembrini. In Anglesey, I disembarked, migrating south to pasture, until I came to Marble Arch and fields of alabaster. In spring, I started up again on a wind that blew from Ealing, soldering for Sir Christopher Wren on the pipes above the ceiling. In Avalon, there is a road and a house marked number seven, ruled by 18 stones of flow and justice most uneven. In Ladbroke Grove, I came to rest, weary, undecided, until the night we burnt our boats on bad like surgic acid. On Dover Beach I tried to sleep as I took my leave of England, but as ye sow, ye so shall reap of cold and stony shingle. In Salamanca I took notes again in Rome and Paris, the sense of purpose that had built each exiled Irish college. The sun arose in Lavandou above the born mimosas, off red and white that lightly strewed confetti on the roadway. A job came up in Zongledak, but I was back in Dublin, a loaf of bread, a jug and cup for drinking tea and jasmine. Amor vincit omnia throughout the National Gallery. We know whoever stayed we are. There's truth in all tomfoolery. My shirt I bought in Istanbul, my shoes from Zugaroni, a monkey suit in Hartlepool, and a ticket for Mahagoni. That's my song with the Magic Mountain.